Next, we'll see how to delve a little deeper into charts. We'll learn how to, for example, change the type of a chart, but also how to print them. But first, let's take a look at the parts that make a graph. This is the chart area. The empty space here. This is the title. This is the legend. This is the plot area. This is the horizontal axis. And this is the vertical axis. Now let's try and edit some of these elements. Our chart has been selected. This is evident from the handles which appear around the chart area. We right-click onto the chart area and from the menu that pops up we select Format Chart Area. At this point we can select a different color from, for the chart area. In the Fill Options group we click on Solid Fill and then we select Red Color. The chart area is now displayed in red. The color can also be changed from the ribbon. We go to the Ribbons Format tab and the, from the Shape Fill button we select another color. This one, for example. At this point here, we right-click again and select Change Chart Type. It pops up a new window and we can select a different type of a chart. Suppose that, we that the type we selected in the beginning is the column chart, but it's not the appropriate one. We'll select bar and then this type here, 3D clustered bar. Then we click OK. The type of the chart has changed. We can also change the chart type from the ribbon. Go to the Chart Design tab and click on Change Chart Type. The window we saw earlier appears and we can select another chart type if we want. We do not want it for now. To change the title of the chart, click on the current title to select it and uh, one more to change it. We change it to Sales 2021. If we want to, we can change the colors of each series. We notice that uh, Dell appears in this blue color. We choose this series by clicking on any of the four bars corresponding to the Dell series and then right click to select Format Series. From the Fill option, we select Solid Fill and we choose a different blue color. The new color appears on all Dell bars. The same is true as before. That is, with the series selected, we can go to the Format tab and uh, change the fill color from the corresponding icon. But uh, we will not do that now. We will go to the Home tab to see another way to change the fill color. We have the series selected and you can see that the commands of the font group are all disabled but one, the fill color icon. We click on it to change the fill color. Let's change it to purple. There are two charts on the other worksheet. This is the first and this is the second. To select the first chart, we're going to click onto it. Handles will then be displayed, as well as some lines around the above table. These lines will indicate that this chart draws data from this cell range. If we click the second chart and select it, these lines will change, because the second chart draws data from this cell range. Let's select the first chart again. We move the mouse pointer to this point here and uh, as soon as uh, it takes the form of a double arrow, holding the left mouse button, we drag upwards. For the moment, we have uh, selected two of the companies only, as you can see in the legend and in the plot area. 
In the same way, you can select one company only. We click, drag upwards, and now the sales of just Tel are displayed. And if we want, we can drag downwards, and we have the sales of all three companies displayed again. If we want to change the size of a chart, we'll have to select it first. So, let's select it. Then, we bring the mouse pointer to one of the handles and holding the left mouse button down, we drag to a direction of our choice. This way, the size of our chart has changed. If we want to move it, we select the chart and then we click inside the, the chart area and holding the left mouse button down, we drag the chart to a new location. If we want to delete it, we'll have to select it first and then just press the delete key. If we want to print a chart, we'll have to select it first and then go to the print command in the file tab. If we click print, our chart will be printed to the default printer. This is true when we only want to print the chart. We may want to print it as part of the rest of the sheet. If this is the case, then we do not select it and go back to File and Print and we see the print preview of the sheet. As you can see, the chart will no longer be printed on its own but as part of the entire sheet. So, we've learned how to change the type of a graph, how to format its various parts, how to resize it, and how to print it. I believe it is enough for now.